Today we're going to talk about some logic terminology. If we have an implication, A implies B, this is our implication. And relative to this implication, we have three other terms that's used in logic very often. We have the converse, which is B implies A, the inverse, which is not A implies not B, and the contrapositive, which is not B implies not A. A typical exam question that you might encounter might be something like this. Show that reasoning by converse is fallacious. That's just a fancy way. Fallacious is a fancy way of saying false, not true, uh, not valid. So if you wanted full credit on an exam, how would we go about this? Well, we'd make a truth table, and we'd look to see if the implication, A implies B, is logically equivalent to the converse. Now, since I said show that reasoning by converse is fallacious, we are going to see um, a false in this truth table, and that would be called a counterexample. And so when we go through this truth table, we'd start off the same way as we started off before, looking at all the, all the possibilities. And we have true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. We copy them down, and we have this. And so pause this video for a moment, get yourself to this step, and I'll do step two in red. So step two I'll work from left to right, but it doesn't really matter how, which direction we work. Uh, true implies true is true. True implies false is false. And false implies anything is true. So that should be pretty quick for you by this point. Uh, true implies true is true. False implies anything is true. True implies false is false. And false implies anything is true. So this should be pretty quick also. Pause the video to make sure you can get that. And I'll do step three in uh, sky blue. So here we have a true, and here we have a true. These are logically equivalent truth values, so this is true. So I'll put a little check mark, good so far. But this next one, here we have a false. Now this isn't a false implies true. This is a false double implies true. And this double implication means if and only if means the truth values have to be the same for this to be true. But these truth values are not the same. So this is false. And here we have demonstrated the existence of a counterexample. And this is all we need. We could go further, but there's no reason to go any further because we've demonstrated the existence of a counterexample. And because of this counterexample, we've shown that reasoning by converse is, in fact, fallacious. So if you want to get full credit on this, if it was an examination question, you would follow this by writing, by demonstrating the existence of a counterexample, we have shown that reasoning by converse is fallacious. And that is the end of the proof. Some people end a proof with a little rectangle that they fill in. This is called Halmos' Rectangle. He was a mathematician, pretty famous, important, illustrious 
mathematician. So if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you want me to do another video of a certain type, just shoot me a comment and I will do my best to provide that for you. <laughs>